Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm back, uh, finally bringing you the step-by-step -step tutorial for the sky transition. Uh, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry I didn't bring this out sooner. It's just you know I've been pretty busy and um, I haven't been looking forward to making the tutorial for this as it's it, it's quite hard to explain. I mean the effect is quite easy to do, uh, but explaining it to you guys step by step is uh, going to be a challenge. But we're going to try anyway. I'm going to try go as slow as I can so you guys can follow step by step. Um, if you didn't see the sky transition preview, um, I'll just show you this first. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So yeah, um, that transition effect um, I think looks really good and it does look you know, spot on in montages. So uh, as normal, let's jump straight into Vegas and let's see how we do it. Um, so first of all, the uh, effect consists of four uh, different shots that you're going to need. Uh, the first two obviously are the actual shots. Obviously mine is just in a private match, I've just got these two clips here quickly. So this is your actual, let's say the kill in the match, the double, the triple, whatever you get that's the first one here and the second one is just here that I did in launch and um, then what also you're gonna need is um, if you go to the end of the first clip um, as you saw in the the preview I've just shown you it kinda goes from the scope here um, up into the sky and then from the sky back down into another clip um, so what you wanna do first of all is obviously have a look at the point on the map let's just go back it's on Nuketown I'm looking into the garage there so you can see in the garage up here that's the kind of where we're going to be wanting to fly up and into the sky. So I went into theater mode. Obviously, if you're using uh, Modern Warfare or whatever, you'd, you'd need to um, just do it in private match. Um, so if I just go back here a second, let me just change this. There we go. So that's the view what I've got from here. And then I'll just use the arrow so you can see. Um, You've got to be fairly good with the camera working black ops. I know it can be difficult, the stick layout's not best, but so I've started here and then obviously use the camera to go towards the garage and then up into the sky and do a few spins up in the sky. Just you don't have to do the spins, it's just a nice little effect. Um so we'll do the first bit first. Um so what you want to do is you want to have go to the beginning of the, the clip where you're gonna be going into the sky and the idea here is to kind of if you go to the end of the second clip uh, the first clip sorry see that picture up there that's kind of what you want straight away into this um, second clip here so the way you do it is first of all I'd say the best way to do it is add, to add the effect in fact I'll just delete them and show you how to do it properly if you go up to the effects here called cookie cutter um, which is so look, there it is and you want to pick this one circle center and if you drag and drop that onto your second clip like that let me just show you it will now have done this on the second clip a black line around the outside so what we can see uh, at the beginning of this clip now is what was the effect that we're trying to get the scope so let me just put these two next to each other so this is the f this is the first clip there where you're actually getting the kill and then it goes into the second bit where you fly into the sky but obviously as you can see there in the preview box the zoom level is quite different so to match that up uh, as best as you can um, you go to the second clip and you click on this button here the event pan crop button and what we're trying to do is obviously replicate the view that you can see from the scope in the first kill sorry it's, just, it's really hard to explain <laughs> wording it properly so what you want to do is you want to grab these arrows here like this and you want to pull in Try keeping it at 16 by 9 ratio, so widescreen, and you want to pull these lines in until you get this similar view of what you've got after you've just done the kill. <laughs> See what I mean? Very hard to explain. <laughs> right, so for example, I've got that view there by zooming in here. So if I just double check, um, use your arrow key to go back and forth. So you can see them two are very similar. You can obviously spend more time, you know, getting, um, you know, precisely where it should be. But for just this tutorial, I'm just going to use that for now. Um, so 
as you, as you saw in the preview effect now it kind of zooms from here up into the sky so we need this black cut, uh, cookie cutter effect to fade away so what we do is we'll click on the event effect here and all we want it to do is zoom away pretty quick so I think a second will be here so about half a second here set a keyframe and then what you want to do is you want to where it says circle center here you want to go to reset to none so basically now um, what will happen is we'll go back to the first clip you've got the kill there you've got the cookie cutter there and then it starts to zoom away like that and then fly into the sky so it, that's it's relatively simple but what you also need to do is make sure that the maps the view here is not zoomed in all the way so again like we've just done with the cookie cutter you want to go to the event pan crop button and here on this uh, the first keyframe I've got it zoomed in and then what you want to do is half a keyframe down the line is set a second keyframe and just reset it back to your normal um, you know zoom in level so it's you know you don't have the black lines around the outside I've just got this one set as YouTube HD so set it as that so basically both of them will zoom out together and um, because if you didn't it kind of looked zoomed in all the way which you know doesn't look that good so just to show you um, with the arrow keys now if you go across the kills there you start to zoom in from the cookie cutter and then straight into the sky so that's the first bit done it may take it may take a bit of practice you know it doesn't come that easy this effect and especially um, you know the first time I tried to do it you know I didn't get it right straight away but um, so once you've gone into the sky um, you know done a few spins so the second part is obviously to come back down from the sky uh, this bit's much easier than that first bit you've probably got the hard bit out of the way there um, so what you do is obviously I've got the second sky bit from launch and all it does is simply it's the camera work that's quite hard to get you want to start obviously in the sky and then kind of turn towards where your character is going to be like that if you watch the preview box now and then kind of use your camera work to kind of come up behind the guy and you want to try to get your camera work as smooth as possible it's better to do it slowly because you can actually speed the video up if you just um, hold control you get that wiggle line you can always you know shrink it make it go faster so it's better to go slowly um, and get it nice and smooth so as you can see here uh, the camera work just comes up behind the guy and that's where we're going to go into the actual second kill so um, all you need to do is just pop that next to that one and then you can see now it going to where the kill is like that um, as you saw in my preview effect you don't have to do this um, I added kind of like this uh, fuzzy CCTV kind of effect um, all it is is uh, it's called the TV simulator um, I've got a few different presets here these are just ones I've used in different montages and whatnot. Um, so what you really want to do is go to your first clip here uh, sorry the first bit where it goes into the sky and that's where you want it to really start um, using this effect so first of all what you want to do is grab a reset to none and drop that on there and then obviously just by using your mouse go across and find really the part where you want it to start going fuzzy for me it's about just as, just have to get after the after the garage roof. So set a keyframe. So that bit's all reset to none. And then what you want to do about a second down the line is set another keyframe. And then you can play about with you know the the numbers to get the effect that you want. I'm just going to use this one here that I called weapons mask. Um, and this kind of gives it this. Uh, maybe that's a little bit too strong. Let me just move these up. Um, I'd say something like that if you want to jot these numbers down you can play with the um, scan phasing and stuff like that just to make it less strong or more strong um, so obviously that first bits reset to none to that keyframe and then from here to there um, it's going to start doing this effect so if I just show you by using the arrow key let's have a look go back so that's coming out of the scope as it starts to go into the sky now you start to get this um, like I said CCTV effect as it's going at the sky and starts spinning. For me, that's a bit strong. I'd play with the numbers there. Um, then, what you want to do as you've gone into the launch skyline is grab the same effect again. I uh, can't remember which one I used. Just grab that one and pop it on. So, the first keyframe is going to be uh, the same. No, in fact, let me show you a technique um, just in case you didn't know. 
say you're happy with the effect that you've got in the first one here um, let's just call it for this purpose call it test you want to save it so then it's exactly the same going to the next clip so that one's test there click the save button and then when you do the second skyline all you need to do is on the first keyframe like this time um, is go to where you've just saved the previous one called test and then you've got that so it flows nicely from the first sky to the second sky and then like we did before um, all you want to do is use your arrow keys to see where you want the this kind of scan phasing effect to stop for me um, it'd be about there so set a keyframe and go reset to none um, and then you obviously if I use the arrow keys now you'd see it uh, doing the scan phase and effect in the sky as it's coming back down into launch um, and then as the nearer you get the, to the guy it'll stop and fade out like that so it looks really nice um, so that's the basics of the effect you know feel free to add your own little touch or your own your own values on the on those effects use some blur if you want um, but yeah in general that's it um, I know it might sound difficult but as soon as you start doing it it's not that bad honestly it's just it's like I said it's very hard to explain so um, I hope you guys enjoy that you know if you found it useful um, you know please give it a thumbs up and if you do end up using this effect please uh, send me um, like a reply video just so I can see how you guys are getting on um, any questions and queries as usual just give me a shout comment personal message whatever you guys want to do um, and that's it for today guys cheers